Hi, Grandma. Hi, Melody. She's coming in in a minute. Hey, Oh, how's it going? pretty good. How are you doing? Oh, just getting ready for Sunday. Oh, I know. <laughs> busy, busy time of year, that's for sure. I'll say we have graduation Friday. Brianna's graduating. Mm -hmm. Oh, man, yep. <laughs> we'll be down there. Yeah, it's like, uh, we went to baccalaureate <laughs> uh, Sunday. I didn't think Aww. I'd, I didn't think I'd get teary, but I did. Oh, oh man. <laughs> Yeah, it's that time of year. yeah, it just goes by so fast. I was thinking about her when she was born, and I was like, oh, I can't believe she's already, already which, she's going to Southwestern, we'll see. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Yeah, time flies for sure. <laughs> I hope she can be um, um, focused <laughs> when she's up there. Yeah, But I, I know how that goes. yeah, I think they move in in Good. June. It's good that they're trying it. Yeah, yeah, Oh, really? yeah. Wow. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, man. Exciting, exciting time. I know. I know. I was trying to get Nanette and them to go to the uh, Thunder game, but they said it's too late. No, <laughs> oh, no. It doesn't <laughs> start oh. till eight, <laughs> but dang, it'll be over late They by then. got, yeah, <laughs> crazy. <laughs> That's when you have the most fun. next time, next time. Yeah, when you just do it. <laughs> I'm looking for, yeah, <laughs> no planning, just go. yeah, that's, That's the most fun ever. <laughs> That's what I was telling Max. That's I said, right. when they won last time, he said, when? I said, they were, they won Western Conference champions. But I'm trying to find my pictures. Oh, hey. That was like in 2012, because I spent my Rome money going to those games. <laughs> <laughs> Western Conference. That's awesome. That's So. funny. Okay, I'm going to Good go get game, it. though. I know, Oh. I know. I'm gonna go get. <laughs> Does she put her okay. on, or does she just leave her picture? Um, I think it's up to her. Usually, she just likes to leave her picture up, but Okay. we could ask. Okay. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> oh. Hello, Miss Velma. Honde, honde, in oil, bon. Um. Let's see. I'm going to pause the recording for a minute. So I know we still have a few minutes till we start. So <clears throat> we'll pause. Yo, was it a sleeve, a sleeve, or was it a horse? The Monco, Monco E. The Monco is a sleeve. Something to do with the image they were. Dane and I were just getting to that song where they say the image, the tornado got away under the sleeve of the sculpture piece they were putting together. It always just misses the in Anadarko, fix the Lord. Oh. Um, let's see. So it looks like we have more people who joined us, so we could probably get started. Um, I know people might have some questions about Saturday, the uh, credentialing session. So let's see. Um, well, Grandma Dorothy, since you're unmuted, <laughs> would you be able to open us our session with a prayer? If they don't say. You are on the on the. It's so good to talk to you, most of you, all of you. I don't get too much of a chance anymore. I haven't been doing anything but writing and reading. On the on the end outside, Dolphy. Doggy.
I'm bedouin taika. Till I don't get your da. Bedouta. In taika. I get the. Toyito ingo. On the cup door, don't get more him. I'm dicky. In daughter tidal, they could get gone. Yet come the tiger, I think, back your hide it. Go it, don't get. Go to eat, though. Boy, how can you get boy, it? Or you do, but I come to. I hold the yellow. I eat hunting, get hunting, get tiger, tiger, the doctor. I'm better, it take better. I'm better to call on tiny. A call on day, a call. Beg you don't get the title, they go get it gone. No target, a call, a tow guide. I eat con better, I'm tired. I hold it by her. Amen. Ooh, I hope. I'm always thankful for the lady that brings six, uh, cedar. Burns it. And I always feel like we don't ever want to lose our ways. Thank you, Melody. Thank you, Grandma D. Oh, hello, Grandma Dorothy. Okay, let's see. Um, so we have some of our credentialing board members here. Do any of our learners have any questions for any of our mentors? How long does it take, or how you know, like? Okay. What are some of the um uh, like? Is there like an overview of like what what would be covered, so um the candidates would know kind of what to be prepared for. I know we have a checklist of what we have to have done. Uh, so I don't know what what's going to happen at the. I won't be able to make it. I just know that, but I'll have to make the next one. So I was just saying that if it took a few hours to you know do what they got to. I don't know. I don't know what. Yeah. I, don't know how I am too. I got. Um, I won't be back till the end of this month. My kids are still at school here till the 31st. So. I could say it the way I heard it, but I believe the, the ones that are experienced in teaching understood it better. Perhaps one of you, Velma Ruth, uh, Marty, one of you could say what Dan covered that we're gonna Dolores, what we're gonna cover Saturday. The only thing I heard was that uh, there's two other tribes that are gonna get this program if we don't convict credential somebody they, uh, to get the Lawton. It was uh, you know, we need to hang on to it. 
and they have a candidate, I think. That's real. what did y'all understand about that? Come on, there's three of you. He came out and told us the Chickasaws, no, the Choctaws are interested. And others a guy, but we had that spot in a Lawton school district. You you probably know Julia. And that was just the little time we met a while ago. That's the understanding I got. Mm -hmm. Dane, if you're listening, please verify what I said. Dane is not on. I know it. <laughs> I thought he might be listening. He talked to all of us. Ooh. And the meeting, it's going to be here in Anadarko. Melody, do you know who's going to credential this year, this uh, coming week? Hey, I got to the time zone. Hey, Maybe she's away from her. Let me unmute. Um, so I am not a part of the credentialing board. I'm a facilitator and a teacher. Uh, so I don't know the list. Oh, there's a uh, Grandma Marty. Um, Grandma Martha, no, she might know. So we could ask. Uh, oh, good, oh, Sorry to uh, put you on the spot, <laughs> but we had a question uh, from uh, one of our uh, potential uh, candidates here as far as what can a teacher candidate expect if they show up on Saturday, May 18th? What what can they expect? Uh, what will it kind of be like? What will be the focus? Um, Dane said he's preparing um, folders to give out when we get there to the candidates, and mm -hmm. it will have all the information in there on what they we are testing on that day. And it's some level one, level two, a storytelling. Remember, a lot of people didn't do their storytelling yet either. So it's all oh. the things that we need to cover for that. But like I said, he said he'll have packages when we get there um, Saturday. So it's mostly about what we've gone over already and what they need to get caught up on. So uh, Travis, I think you had the question. Um, do you have access to the uh, level one credentialing checklist, the professional development checklist? Uh, yeah, I just got that um, yesterday by the email. Okay, good. And to, to get it, uh, if you need a copy of it, so all the materials to, that you uh, to study, there's also a teacher candidate handbook that has additional information. Um, and those links are also on the learnkiowa.org website. And I can put the links in the chat. Um, but that checklist is... To get level one, that's going to be your your main reference is going to that checklist. And then if you have questions, we can, you know, walk you through uh, different components of it. Um, and then for anyone who's going to level two, uh, there is a specific uh, checklist that the credentialing board has. And it's in the Google, there's a Google Drive folder that has all the credentialing study materials in it for level one and level two. And that is uh, through uh, Dane. Dane has that. I don't know. Uh, do you have, um, you know, if you have access to that credentialing study material folder? 
Um, yeah, I got it. Awesome. Hey, Melody, I gotta go change the diaper, but I got a question for you when I get back. Okay, call. Oh. <laughs> um, let's see. So, I'm getting the links to those two documents. Um, but so these in-person sessions are a chance to kind of go through the process of uh, doing the interview portion of the credentialing, so the language portion um, and the conversational portion. And uh, that's also in that Google Drive. Um, so the credentialing checklist is to get like officially credentialed and then in the Google Drive under the credentialing study material, if you look at level one, um, there's a level one checklist that has the language components that you'll want to study for. And I believe there are, uh, and if you're on the credentialing board, if you could uh, correct me, but I believe there are two pieces that you have to do in person or, you know, have some type of work with the mentors, present it to the mentors. And that's the conversational portion and the family kinship portion. Is that yeah. correct? Hoffman yes. Hall? Yes. Mm -hmm. Hall. I mean, Hall. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So those are the, that's mainly what they're going to focus on uh, for the in person um, on Saturday. So it's a good opportunity to kind of practice and to just go ahead and try it and go through it and, you know, see what happens. And if anything, you'll at least know what to expect when you're ready to like officially do it. Or if you pass, then that's one less thing you've got to worry about. <laughs> so it's definitely worth it to go through and just kind of participate in it. Oh, and uh, oh, I know Kathy had to step away, but um, I know it's the focus is the emphasis is on in person, but for any Taiwans who are out of state or maybe not able to travel in person this time, but who still wanted to try it out. Um, I guess there's going to be a Zoom link, uh, but I'll have to ask Dane about that. Melody, he said Not he was going to send that information to you so you could set it up there. He oh, said he was, okay. Yeah, he'll get in touch with oh, you. Let me look at my email. <laughs> that would be pretty um, good because, like I said, I'm I'm still here in Arizona till the end of the month, but um, so that would be oh. really, really good. Yeah. Um, my kids are still in school. They get out on the 31st. So it's, I already got a place there in, in, uh, in Dartha. So as soon as they're out of school, then we're, we're just heading back. Oh, yeah, that's 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 important. <laughs> you got some stuff going on. Um, let me see. Oh, uh, Travis, let's see. Let me see if I can. Dane did send me a Zoom link. So let me forward this. And let me see. Is it your first name dot last name at Gmail? Oh. Okay, cool. I'm going to forward you the email that Dane sent. It has the Zoom link and the phone number information. Mm -hmm. And if anything, you know, I mean, I guess you could try it over Zoom, but I guess you could also just listen in and kind of see how it goes. I'll probably give it a and try. And they start, oh, they start at 10 a.m. and I think they go till, uh, is it 2 p.m.? Yes. Or one. Oh. Oh. Okay. And a two. Okay, I'm typing this out. <laughs> okay. I just that's emailed that. So, oh. Saturday. Oh. Saturday. Oh, I have one more question. Um, since I just got the um, those um, the documents yesterday, would I still be able to try to do the credentialing part and then work on the uh, the paperwork, or do I need the paperwork first and then try for the credentialing? As far as like the uh, uh, the spoken word and the interview process.
What time is the meeting? Oh, Zuko, Ma. Do you, uh, do you know that the answer to that one? What was his question again? Um, so I just got the um, the the paperwork for like the uh, the lesson plans and um, and then the um, the links for the surveys and everything. Mm -hmm. So, but I need to fill out all of that or have all that completed prior to me trying to credential, or could I do the interview with the credentialing board while and then work on that like afterwards? Or I can still work on some right now, but like as far as like since it's coming up pretty quick, like would I be able to try for the credentialing or would I have to wait for the next one? I think it's better if you try for it now and see how you do, and then you still have time to work on the other part too. Oh. Mm -hmm. uh, Yeah, I have to do uh, Kiowa Talk Radio Saturday, and I bend. So I guess uh, when's the next one? Do you know, like in August or something? They haven't set a date for it yet, Kathy. Uh, but I would think it might be like yeah. mid mid to late August, maybe. Yeah. 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 We just haven't talked about that date yet. Like I said, I just was just there. And uh, yeah, I got to recruit, and then plus I got I can't miss Kiowa Talk Radio. So I got I was dead when it started, and I got fired. What's that <laughs> Iowa Talk Radio? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I just do the music. I'm not getting political about it. So. <laughs> it wasn't political. I know. <laughs> just time consuming. It is. It is. I have to stop my vending thing, and that's right in the middle. Of it and I just, I don't know. I, but I enjoy it, so I'll keep doing it. I guess. <laughs> and uh, Ramon, are you still at Carnegie? Yes, ma'am. You're not going anywhere. Uh. Well, I will say um, I actually did um, apply to OU as a transfer student, um, and I submitted my application, and I have a couple of uh, recommend recommendation letters um, that are a part of that. Um, so until I he hear back from OU, um, I may or may not be going back to school. Uh, yeah, I want to so. You know, I, I thought it was important that we credential somebody tonight. There is an applicant for the Lawton one. It was told for us. I'm not just talking because I listened. And I think we should have expedited that so we'd have that ready to sign. That came from Chelsea. Oh, and I think um, we may be looking towards um, George. Um, for him to hopefully get um, I know that he's kind of our um, primary uh, right now we're hoping that um, he can get everything completed by the, uh, before the next school year starts um, but if anything uh, were to happen we will not uh, leave the class um, without a teacher um, so depending on uh, how things go about we'll uh, work it out to still uh, have a teacher there at Carnegie and one at Lawton. Yes, I know we're trying That's to right. do. I don't. I don't know the entire uh, specifics of that, though. That's what I'm wondering about the one in Lawton. I got the yeah. idea that we had to hurry and do something. <laughs> but are y'all asking about the uh, teacher situation? Sorry. That's why I'm asking, honey. Oh, I just joined. I just joined, so I missed the question. I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. Was... Um. Uh, were y'all wondering about what's going on with Lawton? Is that 
I, I just want to answer any questions if you have any questions the best I can. Do we have to uh, go ahead and credential somebody for the position at Lawton before Saturday? Uh, okay, so no. Um, he will he will need to be credentialed. He's already a Lawton employee. So he works at the school. He's worked at the school. He coaches at the school. They're they're going to employ him regardless, whether we're involved or not. Um, they have an avenue that they can take, which is called the adjunct avenue. And it would not require him to go through the credentialing process. However, our our tribe, you know, our law states that a teacher who is endorsed by the department and the credentialing board needs to have gone through the year training, completed their portfolio, um, done professional development, created lesson plans, you know, an actual training, teacher training program, which is what this is, the teacher champion initiative. It's what KLCRP was, and then go before the credentialing board. Um, so to make it align, you know, these two inconsistent avenues one being oh well we're just gonna put him in the classroom and he'll teach Kiowa and we're not even you know we won't consult with the credentialing board this is a different way to do it um the Comanches have done it this way and this tribe and da, da, da. I said I think that we need to talk to the credentialing board because it's a law it's it was legislated and this this could devolve into an issue if we do not inform them that this public school is wanting to go forward with teaching the Kiowa language because with it being, you know, essentially like, um, you know, under the scope of intellectual sovereignty, that could cause problems down the road. So what we did was establish what we're going to refer to as a teacher of record. So he's essentially working in the school while he's doing his um, teacher champion initiative training because there is not a credential teacher who can teach in Lawton right now, who will teach in Lawton right now. There are credentialed Kiowa language teachers who've gone through the program, but they have full-time jobs and they, they don't want to relocate to Lawton. They don't want to teach in Lawton Public School District. And Carlos is already there. You know, he's he's yeah. got rapport. He's got the connections. He's he's he can speak. You know, he, he may need to go through some of the the obviously needs to go through the training. So he will. um, Yeah, he'll go through the, the credentialing process. And if he doesn't meet the requirements, because I think that there was a misunderstanding about all of it as well. Um, I, but if he does, if he doesn't meet the requirements um by i think he has to be credentialed by fall so when and if there is a fall credentialing he will need to pass that um for him to continue teaching kiowa as a world language in that school and then you know within the next year we're hoping that this next cohort will be comprised of people who actually wish to work in the public school system so we don't have to run into this issue again because i'm not certain that uh ramon wants to stay in carnegie i mean teaching uh, teaching high schoolers isn't for everyone you know and and i know and i and i support anybody wanting to go back and you know further their education you know i don't i don't want to lose him from the department entirely um it'd be great if he could go to school and work part-time but you know i support his academic journey of course but um so, you know, we may run into another situation there with Carnegie, you know, that's that we need a teacher who isn't credentialed yet or, you know, what are we going to do? Tell them, OK, well, you've got to take this class from the the course because to get the Kiowa uh, language classes in these schools, they meet with the school board. Um, it's it's a lot of different just like how we have our department and we have our credentialing board and we have all these different like moving parts and stakeholders, those schools do too. And then it's like trying to bring these two large entities together to kind of see things 
from the same point of view because we all want the same thing and that is effective teachers in the classrooms teaching yeah. our students but you know right now with this being so new I mean I know that KLCRP isn't new I know that people have been you know doing the work for years but at this scale where like it's a world language and it counts towards college credit and you're getting a credential through through the tribe which has been mandated that to be the process and then a certification from the state as well you know it's it's a much more ser it's just the 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 seriousness of it you know the the gravity of it is bigger now and especially I don't want to this is another thing to consider we got a state superintendent and I know that they have no say I know they have no say over what we do we're a sovereign nation but once the uh, teacher gets their credentials from the credentialing board the state of Oklahoma then issues them a certification to teach world languages um in Native American world or world languages I think there's something on the certificate that specifies I don't know but um so I had another point I was going to make, but I, for, oh, oh, uh, we just, with Ryan Walters in office, he's wanting to get rid of foreign languages in general. So I just don't want, you know, on the one hand, I'm telling Lawton, okay, not in different words, in different words, obviously, but I'm telling Lawton, you know, okay, I, I get that maybe uh, the Comanche tribe did it this way, but our tribe has a law saying the teacher has to go through the credentialing process, you know? And so then their school board starts freaking out. Well, why did we put Kyle on the roster? Well, if we can't even get it, what are we going to do? You know? And so that's the situation. I, it's not a bad thing in a lot of ways. We have a teacher and yes, he will need to get credentialed, but until he does, a credentialed teacher will be the teacher of record and they will check in with him weekly and they will make sure that he's doing what he's doing, whether it's Ramon or a different level one. We'll have to figure something out. That's the way um, I understood. And I just, uh, 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 he has to have a kid. But I was willing, we worked with Carlos way when the program, before this, it started. And he was one of the first ones. And Carlos is a, a Kiowa speaker. He yeah, sings, he's everything, and I, so I, I, I know him. I'm and not just me, but I just wanted to them to understand what I was trying to say. I wasn't trying to monopolize. I just wanted to. Oh, I didn't think that. I didn't think the way you did. I didn't think that at all. I just, am, I just hopped on, um, just to hop on. I'm, and... I'm glad you did. Oh, do <laughs> so you want to see Libby? <laughs> Grandma Dorothy, <laughs> she's gotten so big. She's watching cartoons. Sorry, it's loud. Say hi, lady. She's being shy. Okay, but yeah. So, so I just, I want to say one last thing about it. Um, you know, like I said, with the Carnegie situation, we may find ourselves in that situation again, where someone hasn't been credentialed by this Saturday. You know, it's supposed to happen this Saturday, and the academic year is starting. By June, July, a lot of schools start, you know, they, they, they want to know if a teacher is going to stay or leave, you know, so they can start finding a, a replacement. So say someone isn't credentialed, I think we've got two potential teachers, George and Travis. And so say one of them, both of them don't get credentialed, then we're going to have to figure out, you know, what we're going to do. So I was thinking that we would ensure that Carnegie has a teacher, but they may still, I'm hoping that, I'm hoping that one or both of them get credentialed by, by fall. Cause if not, then I don't know, are we going to put a teacher in there who isn't credentialed? What do you guys think? I think that'll be credentialed. Yeah. Yeah. So if if those prospective teachers are on here, that's now you know <laughs> you've got you need to be credentialed by by fall. Yeah, uh, this is George. I'm on Hi, here. George. Hey, um, and uh, I'm the Anthea. I have every intention of uh, um, getting credentialed here as soon as possible. 
All right. So you know the next one is this Saturday, right? Yeah, I, I'll try to get there and uh, awesome. see what I can do. And then uh, I heard mentioned that the next one after that is in August. Is that correct? I'm not sure I've heard that too, but I've also heard that they don't do credentialings in the fall. So I was kind of hoping that if, uh, if things um, I need still need to do more after this weekend, I was hoping maybe there could be another credentialing set up sooner than August. I know it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, uh, and also that checklist. Um, have you been given the checklist? I think I have everything done on there i think of the, right. the lesson plans and all the other stuff i think that's all my checklist is done i just have to do the actual uh the, the stuff that goes to before the credentialing board okay great well i'm i'm i that's wonderful and i think that this was a good um you hmm. know initial conversation to have about about what we're going to do and like i said i'm trying to um basically get operations in the department in order and streamlined and have more effective and consistent communication between the department and you know the credentialing board the candidates i mean everyone everyone that's involved it's hard um i'm drowning right now in ensuring that we are in compliance with a lot of things but once all of this is squared away you know we just want to do what it is that we're supposed to be doing and um you know i i'm gonna i'm gonna stop talking now Omaha. you guys you guys resume your kiowa language learning and if you have any questions reach yeah. out to me anytime before seven because lipsters and uh you know i will i will do my best to get you an answer you know within the next couple of days but just you know i ask be patient with me for a while i'm trying to get everything sorted out oh uh, chelsea. chelsea yes it's me i know i talk too much but i ask questions so i don't know um, i love when you talk too much and you're 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 right on that george would be ideal i thought he would go on to law and then we'd credential him by by saturday on paper because he said he's eligible to be credentialed yeah, the only the reason why they ended up going with Carlos is because he was already employed there. So Lawton Lawton want like Lawton wanted Carlos. Well, I want George. <laughs> well, there's still Carnegie. There's still possibly Carnegie. I mean, see, so just bear with me because, like, in my mind, I'm having to shuffle all these potential situations around and still try to do what's right by our law and our policy and procedure and then who is available you know so it's it's a lot to think about so yeah I know I I would like to see George in one of our schools as well I I just you know it depends like is Ramon going to quit teaching you know I don't know anyway it's I'm done thinking about it tonight I hope that I provided at least a modicum of clarity about what's going on um, and didn't confuse anyone further. Uh, and if I did, you know, like I said, feel free to, to ask me and I'll try my best to clear it up. One thing as a Kiowa, I would like to see the people anywhere, anyway connected to this program should be required to take Kiowa. Okay. Uh, so they know the program. I agree. So, like, take Kiowa through the um, through our, the, through our program, not just like a community class or anything. I didn't ask him. I told our chairman I was going to teach him what I know about culture and tradition. Mm -hmm. We need sure. that very bad. Our graduation ceremony was nice, but my grandson. Mm -hmm. worked for his PhD. I didn't even see him. I didn't even have an invitation. I didn't even know he was going to be involved in Carnegie. And I missed it. And that's Gary Kearns, Dr. Gary Kearns. I'm sorry to hear that. 
sorely disappointed and hurt. But what good does that do? And the language program is the most important part of our program. Our traditions and our ways, because we're so unique, yet we have to take a back seat to people. All of these people are eligible. They have the education and everything. Uh -huh. them. I've worked with them. Well, I mean, that's the thing. We, they, we just have to get them credentialed. You know, normally, it's my understanding that, um, and I and I hear you, and I, I mean, I I'm I hear your frustration with everything, you know, and but that's just why we have to. This this process has been, you know, established, and this is how it works. And teachers go through about 10, 10 months of training sessions, Wednesday night sessions, uh, with a mentor, you know, two hours every week. Um, as much independent study as they can do, uh, checking off the boxes on the on the checklist and building their portfolios and going before the credentialing board. And just unfortunately, there aren't enough people who've gone through that process in time, in the perfect time frame to say, hey, here's this, you know, cohort of teachers who are credentialed and ready to go straight into the high school because there are several credentialed teachers, level ones at least, you know, but not so far, none of them are available to teach in the public school. But we have two who could pass. I know at least three, you know, Carlos, George, and maybe Travis pass the, the credentialing and go into the schools because Ramon, you know, doesn't want to go. I mean, a thought about possibly asking a two mom if she wanted to teach it too but I, I i feel like they she's loved in anadarko and needed there and like that's that's a good good place so you know um but i i hate to interrupt the wednesday sessions with rambling on about all of this um does uh are y'all are y'all like doing your um what topic are y'all covering tonight for the credentialing Like in Kiowa, like the like, what topics are we uh are the teacher candidates and stuff one like supposed to talk about? I was just wondering. I think we're just preparing for Saturday. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. I'm yeah. so sorry. No, no, you're not. I mean, we don't know. We're we're just sitting here waiting for Melody. She's away from her. She had company pop over to her house, so okay. we're so not really on, much. <laughs> on level ones on the so it's Saturday at level one credentialing. Level one and level two. Level Both. one and level two. Yeah. Oh, okay. So on the level one, are they are it the same thing? Like it's like a you watch a conversation and then have so much time to right. With so should we students. should we practice like do a practice run like the 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 candidates listen to some speakers and just kind of get do like a practice run and try to transcribe as much as they can hear or go over pronouns well who's all know, on in here first oh yeah let's see we've got 12 participants so uh kathy Ramon, George and Akima, Marion, Tim, Travis, and then our elders. Mm -hmm. our, our, wait, Melody, yeah, Dorothy. There, there, there are a few people on. I don't know, what do you guys think? People who are doing credentialing, because I don't know who's going through their credentialing, Maybe just write in the chat what you want to focus on the most. Do you want to focus on the pronunciation, the pronoun? What's George, uh, what's George and Travis level? Are they level one? Do they need I, two? I, I think they're level one. Done any of them. I haven't done any of them yet. So. so I just need to do one. I mean, as far as like the credentialing process goes, I haven't done any of it. Oh. Yeah, that goes. Yeah. Oh, I'll be going for a uh, one. 
so then we just need to do something level one so they know you know a little bit about what we're it's not hard uh you know it's just what you gotta do a little conversation and all that uh, all right so is the conversation between the the um the uh candidate and an L like Who's who has the converse? Uh, who has the conversation? It's between um, one of the elder mentors and the candidate because it's like a test to see what you know. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. I'm a token, how do they call it? A talking hog. So I'm trying to, I try to keep quiet. Hey, I talk too much too. I don't want to talk. I I want I want to hear some Kiowa. I don't want to talk. <laughs> don't worry about talking too much. We love to hear Grandma Dorothy talk. We love to hear you talk. And I like to sing. We could do that. Let's sing. Well, we have um. Like if that. I don't know who's uh got that, where we go up on study, study stat, and uh, they have level one cards, flashcards. So if somebody needs to bring up study stack, and that's we do that, or we have um, learnkiowa dot org has level one. And all the you know, like the lesson I right now I I have I only have level two things right now. I think oh. that just any kind of conversation between in Kiowa right now would be best. So like you know, pe like, well I mean I'm talking about format, you know, kind oh, of so, so sorry. Yeah. you know, so they can see what we're doing. I got the t I I think I. Never mind. I was gonna say I think I sent out the um format, but I forgot to. No, I didn't. Never mind. Yeah, so they needed another format. Uh, so hey, yeah. They they have some darn good little uh films you could put together and make a little booklet out of that and show them. For the past years, Tim and all those guys are masters at uh, the little comical ones. We've done them on cedaring. We've done them on different things that could be showed. But, uh, I like to look at it just to laugh, but it's just like... Same day in that uh, oops, oops. Chelsea. Chelsea. Yes. Yes. Last, yes. No, last last week uh, we were working on pronunciation and we were reading a story and um, and then at toward uh, we did a little bit of work on pronouns. So, but. Okay. Uh, that that's what um, that's what we did last week. So I don't know uh, if they're going to continue that that story or if they want to do the pronouns. Well, uh, who usually decides? Does I mean group the, the group decides. Last week the group decided that they wanted to continue reading the story, but like for the pronunciation, and then okay. uh, and, and then the group decides. You know what. Exactly, like the, the I think the week before, uh, 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 we worked on the the kinship and mm -hmm. the, the study stacks. So there, every you know what area we cover, it's it's something. I mean that area is on the for the uh, credentialing. Okay, so it, what do we and and then the story story reading? What's everybody want to do? Do we want to? Oh, who has the story? Is that why we're not reading it? Is Mel does Melody have it? Yes. I don't know if anyone else can pull that up. I know. I don't know. 
we could maybe work on pronouns until uh, she gets back because it would be, I would like to learn more about pronouns myself. I know I'm not really going through the program right now, but I plan to get credentialed someday, maybe at the fall one. So like Aunt Velma maybe do um, like the dog, the dog one for level one. That way, George and uh, Travis can see how it is. I have I have a list here where it says "dog." I saw it, and then well, maybe Mama can say what it is, or whoever you know, anybody in there, you know. But that's the order that it's in. Maybe maybe uh, Ramon can pull those up. Ramon, like, would that available? Say the well, you have access to share this the screen. I don't know who has access with the material to share it to pull it up on your uh, right. Yeah, I think Melody is the only one that has access yes. right. Uh, pronouns. Oh. Uh, okay. Uh, give me just a couple minutes. Um, I'm on my iPhone right now, but let me open up my computer uh try to uh see if I can uh, pull it up. So bear with me. So there's uh also a study stack you guys can go on uh and then uh search out what was that Kiowa or Dane Pulaw? And the levels of the Kiowas, uh, you know, what we're learning is in the flashcards there. And it okay. will tell one and all that. It's pretty cool. So, study stack. Dean right, Pula's study stack. You might, no, it's just you got to Google study stack. Go in the study stack and search. I found it. Okay. Um, let's see. I got, there's level one default nouns, level one animate nouns, level one plant nouns. So there's a whole bunch of them. Um, oh. So the plant nouns is like the flower. So you have to know like dog, flower, and shoe. So... I mean, but he changed it too, so really have to oh. look and make sure that because uh, it changed from the last time we credentialed, I think he said. Hey, Dar, recall there, will you? So like I can got day bone is my my pronunciation's probably bad, so I wanna be corrected on that if possible, please. Oh uh, so how So like yeah, dog. I saw it. You said somebody said it right, and then dog. You saw it. Dog. He she saw it. These want to like um <clears throat> go through them real quick. I mean, I can start out. I guess. Oh. Okay. So I'll start with shoe. You say shoe, and then flower, and dog uh, so shoe i saw the shoe do they get bone so the shoe i saw the shoe and then you if i'm talking about you you know do they are bone and then um the other one you say uh the shoe like he or she you know talking about just somebody else you know do they bone you don't add any of the pronoun to it it's just just the do and bone. 
stowed a bomb. And um, you can say the, um, <clears throat> and then as far as uh, the flower, flower, I saw it, a king got day bomb. You see it, a king got bay bomb. And flower, he or she, again, you know, um, so there's myself, you, and he or she, a king got a bone. And then with um, dog, so you got Segun Gabon, dog, I see it. And then you see it, Segun Abon. Then he or she, Segun Bon. Oh, but how you know that? Oh, so long. So then you go down the line when you do dog mine it is dog yours it is and then dog his or her it is and then flower same and then chew so okay so I guess which dog again uh my dog say good night dog and um, yours. They go name dog. And uh, the dog, his or hers. They go name dog. And then say, uh, I want to put the, um, there's a flower. Or flowers, because it's always flowers. It's not just single. It's always in the plural. Um, I can get yam dog. Uh, king, yeah, yeah, and do. So, yeah, is for the nasal, talk about myself. And then, yeah, talk about you. And I uh, king, yeah, uh, do. and Then, um, <clears throat> shoe, talk about shoe. Do, de, yeah, do. Do, de, yeah, and do. Do, de, uh, do. Pretty good. Let's see. Then we got uh, dogs. I saw them too. Dogs, you saw them too. Dogs, he see he she saw them too. So them too saw them too. Is, uh, do that for the dogs. Flower and shoes. Yeah, let someone else go. <laughs> Is George on? Look here. Oh, but I am. We are away from home, and we're got the kids at the park, and I don't have any of my materials oh. with me. Oh. But I am listening. <laughs> yeah, these are the ones that you guys are gonna need. Yeah, right. me and Aki are both listening at the moment. Oh. I'll try it. This one, uh, just uh, looking, right? Segun uh, main bon. Segun main bon. Uh, and Segun aim bon. I saw the two dogs. You saw the two dogs. He saw the two dogs. Mm -hmm. Also. Mm -hmm. um, the, uh, flower and then shoe too. Shoe. <clears throat> It'd be nice if they were shown on the screen so that everyone could see. Uh, I messaged Melody to try and uh, get in on my computer, so I'm just waiting for her on this. I don't think she made anybody co-host. Mm -hmm. um, so. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going by my notes, what I have here. I can got de bon. I can got be bon. I can got a bon. So the... Mm -hmm. Um, 
So that was for they two are, or wait a minute. <laughs> no, sorry. I, I thought we were doing, um, still going off of bon. Um, I saw the one flower. He saw the one flower. You saw yeah. the one. I thought we were supposed to do that. Good. Oh, I thought you were doing, uh, so day. So day. Uh, I, I seen the flower. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I didn't. Whenever I did shoe, I uh same thing was um I saw the shoe, you saw the shoe, he he saw the shoe. Oh, okay. I was like, wait a minute, I'm lost. <laughs> okay. Then for uh, let's see. Then there is so that we did the them too. So that so did we dogs mind they are too uh they too are. Dogs mine, they too are. And then dogs yours, they too are. Dogs his, his or hers, they too are. Say goon. Oh yeah, for two, right? Say goon they daw. Say goon they daw. Say goon ain daw. In flower. Uh, for two or. Uh, flower mine. They two are. Flower yours. They two are. Oh. And said, but good on this dogs. There's another word for dogs, and it's saying he, saying he, saying he, little horse, saying. Oh. Horse little, when they used to pull our things with a trap with the little harness or something. Saint he. Take him and Saint he. Saint he. There's two or three words for each of you, for most of them. Uh, one, one day aside, though. The. Oh. For three or more, would would one say um, saying hyoi or uh, like for because three or more dogs is that saigun dog, but if we're using the other form, would it be uh, saying uh or saying hyoi or saying hyo or anything like that? You got that right, <laughs> according to my cloud. The three. Oh, okay. Hatel get down to. Hatel him do. Kuto him tell him do. Oh. Oh, how do I get him do? Hey, to go to go to do. One time, uh, Marty, your father-in-law Justin put his hands around my mother's eyes, and she said, "She said." I tell him though when she was real old. He said he yeah, I told you like that. She said, Oh, they get saw me. He said, I'm a Comanche man in, in Kiowa. <laughs> and she agreed with him. <laughs> uh, Dolores and I from day one didn't want to mess with verbs and it's just plain Kiowa to me. In fact, I don't know how. Yeah, go on. Just because you learn, oh. and then they figure you can get it to the others' parts. But first, learning to speak is the most important, and speaking correctly. In the kind of way, the language. Listen, y'all want to hear a description of horses? Do y'all want to hear my old voice? Oh. Who said ho? Oh. <laughs> what y'all think, George and Aki? And 
It says, I'm tired. I'm tired. I dumb get her. I don't dumb get her. Hey, I ain't gonna boy ya. Say gonna boy ya. I dumb get I dumb get Yeah, hey, hey. Say gonna boy ya. I dumb. Ha, oh, a good dog. Ha, oh, a dog. Ha, oh, a dog. So, say you can sing a cobrado, yeah, hey, hey, hey. It says, I lost my horses. And I'm tired. He gave me some money. So, if he asked me to tell him we're going to go watch the game somewhere. Okay. okay. I think it's a place called Roosters. It's a sports. Okay. They got TVs. All right. All of you. But I guess he went to sleep. But he yeah. Told us to get snacks. Mm hmm. Anyway, it describes the horses that he lost. Pa'oe Gudelda. There's three of them that are red, wrongs. Pa'oe Totada. Pa'o are gray, a sort of a tan. Oteo are little bitty ponies. Pa'n Sango, a pa'tada. There's seven of them and they're all spotted. And there's nothing but old Kiowa in that song. I just thought I'd give you a little sound of that. Oh. That's where my mix up is. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Uh -huh. I can't sing anymore. That's how much time's wasting. I know most of y'all. We have to go through those songs again, too, on those tapes and get those translated. That's what Julia Nold and I done on the Have a Birthday song. We translated it. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I am at the park with our baby. <laughs> <laughs> but we're listening in and we were singing along with you. <laughs> and in the victory song when your son comes back from the war. It's no, el somi he te do hail. No, el somi he te do hail. Oh, go out, guy, go a bon hail. Hey, go a mug of cocky, yeah. Hey, go a mug of dog, yeah. No, somi. The women used to stand by their teepees and sing when their men came back from a war party. And it says, my son done wondrous things in the war. And I'm dancing for him. And it's a hard dance, just right in place for a woman. No, no lance, no nothing. You just sing with all your heart. And you threw a blanket in front of me. He gave me a call, Kegia, not saw me. So that song we danced to at Black Leggings, it's got words. That's the kind of Kiowa I want to teach. I've got so many papers and stuff in my room. I look like the bag lady. Mm -hmm. Dane and I have uh, translated a bunch of them. And Marion is a good consultant. Y'all are all good, though. I didn't hear one wrong, one corrective, nothing. That's good, Chelsea. 
Are you still here? Everything is important in this Kiowa language, words, songs, and stories. There's all so much to learn. Hey, my mom, my him, boy, son, I love you. No kidding, our leaders, the committee people ought to all take a a night of mm -hmm. Iowa. I just assumed that most of the people I know for sure our age to speak it, but I mean they kind of see my young ones. I assumed everybody knew Kiowa. It's my own fault. My own don't talk it. My own fault. Mea culpa. I can't dance anymore, so you guys appreciate that and dance as hard as you can. I'm, I'm going to hang on to my Kiowa as long as I can. Long as I can talk. Hey, good morning, boy, Dave. How you about doing, good to go? I'm going to hang you, though. Yeah. Just don't let me start uh, blowing or lying. <laughs> no. And you'll quit listening to me. You're just cute. <laughs> <laughs> you come through but once. But yeah, I think the two that's going to credential this weekend will do it. They're, they're pretty good. Y'all coming on my credential, all of y'all Saturday. <laughs> I have, because I had to learn from, you know, I had, I had, uh, Travis was my teacher and I, uh, I passed that class. So I know he knows what he needs to do. You know, it's just, uh, the help phrases, the kinship. So what we just did, the uh, pronouns. Yeah. And try to think. I don't, I don't think there was anything. I don't. My friends. Your dad thought you were um, somewhere to watch that game. Yeah. Do you remember, Miss Pula? But what? Uh, what level one? Kind of off top of your head. Um, level one, most of you guys have kind of gone through that, but the ones that haven't, is a very simple um, conversations that we hear from you to see if your pronunciation is good. And um, also we're listening for the use of the pronouns because that's the most important part of that sentence is your pronouns. If you say them wrong, it's gonna sound odd. And when you get them corrected, that's Kiowa. This might be this might be Marty and uh, Marty and Marion and I had a a one little word uh, that we kind of talked about quite a bit because in Kiowa, Kiowa has no vulgar words. That's a beauty part of it. 
It's how you put them together. And my first Indian word of a different tribe was an off-color sentence. I didn't know what I was saying, and I got hit on the head when I was a little girl for saying that. Kiowa has no vulgar language. L vulgar, it's how you use them. And I'm offended when I see that, so because our language is beautiful. We have respect for our, our each other. And it's the most beautiful part of the Kiowa language. I had an issue about 10 years ago. I went to a funeral, and the, the spray was beautiful. I went up to pray, and it had a mon fatal do. And it happened to be a woman's son. And that's when I got the motivation to want to teach Kiowa. Because I love you was used quite frequently around our area. And I love you is goat de aim dope. Goat de aim dope. I hold you close to what they mean in their heart. And there was an argument and an issue about it some, from some other Kiowas until on these, uh, these uh, the, the mentors that were before us deciphering those songs. And right in the middle of it, Miss Lucy Somte coins, she used that word, goat de imdo. Then when I listened, the women used it more in their prayers. And that's when I knew I had heard it right. There's, I like you and I love you. And if they want to keep saying, I like you, it's okay. Because we just use that word more in my family. We were kissing family. My sisters and I. Just like in Tong Kong, no Tong in Kobe, people all say, ain't Tong It's just how your grandmother taught it to you. Right. It's correct. You see, grandma, my grandma fussed at me. Your grandma might have spanked you. It's just how you learn. I have no argument. I don't tell anyone it's wrong because it's it's right from the roots you came from. And some people like to tease. I like to talk. It was just a stigmata around my brothers and I. That's all. Obaho. Congratulations to all of you guys that won at the language fair. You've done good. Kim's uh, little girl was next to perfect in her diction. Oh, we had worry. We had a hard time because some people's mind goes a different way. But we have a scalp lock. Our men call it a guy on. It's a warrior braid in the back. Guy on. Some people think it's Comanche braid, but it means warrior braid. And then Kiowa men had that little pus. Pasen, we decided to call it Marty and I, <laughs> because and Marion and because 
if you say if you slip just a little bit on your word and people have minds they're gonna think you're mispronouncing something but i think it, that's not that's and funny. they'll die laughing but they won't tell you what you said you know i'm talking so those on my that's that's a talk old it means don't get shame where words when you're talking off color. Talk so no shame. And if you're talking it, your talk goes on. Now you all passed your your test. What y'all think? Marion, Mary, uh, Dolores. I still like the War Mother's now. That one, there's strict, strict cultural rules that was made for. That's what the Tong Kong got saying when they're putting somebody to rest you don't use that as a grand entry song or anything it's a for our warriors kaiwa warriors it was made by Dolores's father So it's good sometimes to go through those tapes, those, those were mothers, and every Ohoma song I know has ended, has Kiowa words. I said, I went to Riverside when they had inkwells she had on the desk. I found where I said there were Kiowa women that worked out there when I was a little girl. And they were pretty kind to me. And I never, I never seen anybody get shook or if, if they did, I didn't see it. And if I seen it, I'd have told them. They call, and it probably happened up north. And another piece of history I bet y'all didn't know, we've got Velma. We've got Velma, our little uh, pharmacist in Oklahoma City, Helen, Velma Ruth, uh, Martha Pula, um, Marion Hansen. They're all former Kiowa princesses. Sure. Oh, and we've got three of them that are mentors. You know, didn't know that. We need to put things like that just as the afterthought calendar things so we know. Oh, I agree. Things like that. We're all proud of anything anyone does in our families. I was kind of urging each program, but they didn't listen to me, to make thank you cards and sympathy cards out of each department at our tribe and acknowledge on somebody. Yeah, yeah, if we don't have time for niceties. 
Hayya Melody ba? She's still with her company. I, Did someone up by her house? You know, she almost got hit by the. the I watched the weather and you take take yeah. Oh, the take tornado. Guys, when you got caught and you mm. can't get out, you take yeah. Melody, Melody, Melody. Tornado. <laughs> tornado siren was going on, and it was either me or my handicapped daughter, so I sent her. Because we went two rounds, and them shelters were locked. So I came back and just came in here. Thought I might be fly flying over Chickasha pretty soon. Luckily, nothing. It's not funny though, but you know, you say uh -huh. that flying over chicken. You <laughs> when you get to, when you, uh, there's a uh, there's a kind of a remarks like that. Domna shanam, yeah. That means my land got my own space got little. I thought I was really a goner. Oh, I still don't have a cellar. Uh oh. Uh oh. You just a Kobe, ma. You just a little. Yeah. On the happy. Dorothy. Dorothy. Sing that uh, horse song. Sing that. Don't sing. Sing it. 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 Again, the one you just sang a few minutes ago. Can you hear me? Good baby. Oh, uh, she, I don't know. She, I think she got off. Mm -hmm. You think so? Yeah. I've never seen that song. Yeah, she's, uh, I guess she got knocked off the internet there. Yeah. Oh, that's right. She said, I must have a bad weather over there. You said what she was saying. They have uh, bad weather in, in a dark home? Hey, Tom. Uh, let's see. What Travis say? Oh, Travis say good night. Your daughter, or we're about ready to eat. Okay, all right, Travis. We you normally ended about eight thirty anyway, but sometimes nine o'clock. So I guess uh, still want to leave, but I guess we need to pay dog side somebody. Uh. He hoped you, ma. Yo. May you, uh, I guess since uh, it's getting later, I guess, and people are uh, logging off, may you, um, be pot get dog Oh, they don't get dog Oh, my mind, dog. They all day. So I get going by the arm and yeah, I, I, I call it don't do do giggle. God don't get get my hand on. They all day. Ten do do giggle. Get on do get on. Get my hand on. I'm the kid. Tom doggy and dog, they paid about town. I could go. Get 
Gemahimta, Gehide dog, or Gescarto Zani, Donna. Um, a ho to get on, dog, be both. Dog, Elim, Dost, they on the Yenom Harty, dog, doggy. How long to get Sunday gum, doggy? A Tom Hatherburn be tall hot to get Tom now. I'll get, I'm get, don't, don't get on me, dog, I am. So be my him, so be I am, and don't get it so. So I own the dog, I'm Tom, better. Get in it up, better. I thank you, doggy. Dang, I dang he, doggy, you know. I'm the star, though, they go. The other town of Cain goes, I get hungry. He they go, they go. But they only keep on giving back to a whole day, but her. Over her. Oh, a whole. Oh, a whole. We look to the candidates. Oh. That's what you're paying for your uh, leader recovery, Dolores. So you Thank can join. You. Thank oh. you. Oh, yes. He got him oil. Yeah. He got him oil, but. Oh, Amar. Oh. He got him oil. Oh. Oh, I'm out. Oh, 